guys it's Rifa in this video I'm gonna show you my itinerary in New Orleans so stay tuned guys and don't go anywhere the New Orleans Jazz Museum celebrates jazz in the city where it was born through dynamic interactive exhibitions, multi-generational educational programming, research facilities, and engaging musical performances, the music New Orleans made famous is explored in all its forms. French market is open daily. Similar to some European markets, this historically charming open-air market features shopping, dining, music, and local tradition that is uniquely New Orleans. Visitors can find boutique shopping, restaurants and eateries, and the farmers and flea markets boasting an international community of vendors offering wares from around the globe. I passed by Yuan of Art made of Orleans statue and I stopped by to admire the statue itself and learn about the history. Café du Monde is famous for their beignets. So guys, do not forget to try beignets when you are in New Orleans. After Café du Monde, your next stop should be Jackson Square. It is just across the street from Café du Monde. However, I stopped here at the Washington Artillery just to admire the view of Jackson Square from this Washington Artillery. For over a half century, there has been an open-air artist colony at Jackson Square. Local artists paint, draw, create portraits, caricatures, and display their work on the square's iron fence. Jackson Square is a favorite site for visitors and locals. The artists, restaurants, museums, merchants, and the square itself make Jackson Square one of the French Quarter's most popular destinations. Jackson Square is surrounded by historic buildings, including Cabildo Museum, Presbyter Museum, St. Louis Cathedral, and not to mention the lower and upper Pontalba Apartments, the oldest apartment buildings in the United States.
historic and beautiful buildings around French Quarter. You should just go around and find your favorite building, your favorite spots, your favorite cafe, and make your own experience. My favorite thing to do in the end of the day was sitting by the Mississippi River, watching the cargoes come and go. It was just so beautiful and so serene. End your day by having dinner in one of the local cafes in French Quarter. The next day, I took streetcar to Audubon Park. Audubon Park is a favorite spot for recreation, picnics, or enjoying a beautiful day. It has ancient live oaks, jogging path, a lagoon, picnic shelters, and playgrounds. Audubon Park is open to the public and also features tennis courts, riding stables, soccer fields, the Whitney Young Pool, Audubon Clubhouse Cafe, and Audubon Golf Club. My next destination after Audubon Park was Garden District. I wanted to see beautiful historic houses and some of them were even in the movies. In this charming Garden District, oak shaded streets are lined with a diverse mix of homes from single-story cottages to the grand historic mansions and lavish gardens of St. Charles Avenue.
the historic houses in Garden District, this house was definitely my favorite. If you've watched the movie of The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, you will recognize this house. Benjamin Button was born an 80-year-old man and ages in the reverse. As an infant, he was left on the steps of a nursing home where he was taken in by a caretaker and consequently the caretaker raised him as her own. The next day, I decided to go shopping at the River Walk outlet and walk by the river. We decided to take the steamboat tour at night along Mississippi River. We enjoyed the view of New Orleans at night, we enjoyed the music, we enjoyed the food, and we really had fun. So, what were my favorite things to do in New Orleans? Actually, I have some. Number one, of course, the food. We never found the not delicious food. Next favorite thing to do was walking and sitting by the Mississippi River. It was just so relaxing and it was so free. There were times when I bought beignets in Café du Monde and ate it here by the Mississippi River. It was just sacred. And the last thing that I loved and enjoyed so much of doing was taking the streetcar. I took streetcar every day to go places and that was how I got to know more about New Orleans. Thank you so much for watching guys and please do not hesitate to give me like, subscribe, and comments. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!